Transportation encompasses so many different methods when we're talking about this overarching conversation from that groundbreaking of BRT to improving Go Raleigh, the services behind me. Uh, what about the roadways, I-540 or Capitol Boulevard? And of course, when we're looking at air travel, that conversation revolves around RDU. 14.5 million customers that actually came through RDU last year, a record number for us. Now the question, how do officials anticipate keeping up? RDU Airport and sustainable funding for that is the top priority of the regional business community on transportation, and it has been for several years. It's going to continue to be that way in 2024. A $3 billion infrastructure project is underway, which includes building a new runway, expanding both terminals, and improving access in and out. That last part, the focus of an ongoing study being led by NCDOT to look into expanding BRT to the airport. The runway should take about four years to construct, while those terminal upgrades will likely go into effect in the early 2030s. Lots of people moving in here because of those jobs, but lots of people moving in here just because of great quality of life. And so we've got on both sides, not only leisure customers continue to grow, but business grows as well. That impact felt just recently, with Congresswoman Deborah Ross pointing to Ken Power's $41 million investment in Durham County. And they came here in particular because the airport is so close to where they are. And you know where they fly through? Iceland. And we have that regular Raleigh to Reykjavik flight. Last year, RDU added 49 routes, 25 destinations. Leadership there says they are in continual conversations to look at different markets and upgrade their services. And speaking of upgrade,